Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sushwa Saital. I hope you all are doing fine. Let's solve today's problem for lead code. The problem name is zigzag conversion. Okay, it comes under medium, so it has more dislike than like. So we'll give a like. So the problem saying the string uh, PayPal is hiring is written in zigzag pattern on a given number of rows like this. So P uh like we, it is written in zigzag p a y p a l i is hiring okay and then red has p a h n a p l s i i g y i r okay write the code that will take a string and make it an conversion given or and number of rows okay let's understand this problem so we are given a string which is paypal is hiring in a number how many how many rows we can create we can create three rows. So what are the rows? Rows are this and columns are this. So this is rows and this is columns. Okay. So now what we have to do, we have to have we, that at max we can have three rows. So let's say, so we will start from P. So P will be here. I'll make it small P and how many rows we can create? We can get zero, one and two at most three rows so we will start from zero one and two so second will be here a and third will be y and what we have to do we have to have a zigzag pattern so the next the uh, next uh, element p will be here cross and here uh, another element will be a here and l will be here i will be here s will be here H will be here, I will be here, R will be here, this is I, and another I will be here, N will be here, and G will be here. Okay, so what do we have to print? We have to print in a row wise. So we have to print in a row wise pattern. So we have to print here P, A, H, N, A, P L S I I G Y I R is the output same here. We are getting the same output here. P A H N A. We are getting same output here. Uh, P L S I I G Y I R. So this is right. So what is this? This is right. So we have understood the problem. So what they are saying? They will be giving a number of rows. So we have to have a zigzag pattern. So this is zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig. Okay. So let's understand this problem, how we can solve. So there is another example here. So we have a row four. So what we will do, we will have a row starting from zero, one, two, three. Okay. So till three, we have a row. So what we have to print, we have to print P I N A L S I G Y A H R and P I. Okay. So let's see if we print P here. So after how many digits we will get I. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we are getting at six digit. So we are getting at six digit. So this is zero and again we will say we have to print n now so what we'll do we did we did print i here and now what we have to do we have to print another uh, we have to print n so how many digits after this uh, like see so this is 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 so what uh, so the another this will be n so uh, from this we can say the difference between this till here and this till here is 6. Okay, from here till here which is 6. Let's see for this guy. Let's see for now A. So now after A, what should be that? After A, it should be L. It should be L. So, but here we say we have to increase till 6. So let's, uh, it's, it is true for this case also. Let's see. So here is a so one two three four five six so what is printing here 
it is printing here it is printing here a s and another six one two three four five six and it is printing z here we are missing here l and i okay so so what for this what we have to do so we can say here after uh, so we can say so what is this digit here this is one two three four and five and this is six and this is seven and eight nine ten eleven and this is twelve and this is thirteen so we can say here from here till here the difference here uh, from here till here the difference is one two three four okay and from here till here the difference is two and same case for this guy here till here the difference is here two let's see for another problem so we will keep this in the mind and we will say we will create an algorithm we will create an uh, this one uh, what you say we will create an algorithm for this uh, formula for this guy so let's say for y so we have to print we have to print what we have to print we have to print y a h and r okay so let's say we will say sim we will simply say here we will simply say here we will increase here by six so one two three four five six so we are getting y h after that one two three four five six which is out of the bound so we are getting only y and h so here we can say uh, here it is two three four so here two two four so what is the difference here this is two and from here till here what is the difference uh, let's say four five uh, six seven eight so this is also four and here uh, eight nine ten so from here till here how many distance it is two so here also is two sorry here is also two from two till four it is two and from four till eight it is four so from this formula we can say here so what we did here from here till here is six let's say for last one so this is p so what uh, like this is three so we have to skip six one so one two three four five six we are getting p and i so we can say here for zero and three uh, we can say here six is holding for but for one and two it is not holding six so we are missing some numbers for that so we can say for first digit first row and the last row the the six is applying but in the middle of the row it is not applying okay so how we are getting six here so here we can say so how many rows are there here four four minus one so what is four minus one which is equal to three and we have to do multiply by two so we are getting here six so after six we are getting uh, this formula we are getting p i and n okay so we have found out this so which is this n which is row how many rows are there minus one minus one into two for this is this formula is used for top and the last uh, this one row okay i hope i'm clear till here let's find out what is this what is happening in this uh, between these two so here starting from one and here it is five so one five seven and here we can say eleven and three so from here till here what is the gap here which is four and from here till here we have gap of two and from here till here we have gap of four and from here till here we have a uh, gap of two so here we can say after looking to this we can say and minus one oh so for this case so six so for this case n minus one which is four minus one into two which is six and minus two which will be equal to four so we are getting here uh, we are getting here one five and say and uh, and uh, and after that we are getting here we have to add six here then again we have to add four then again we have to add two so we are getting all the element i hope i'm clear here i will tell you what how you use this formula so i'm just telling you how we are using here and just check for uh, the second row here 
so here it is second and another number is here two three four and another number is here eight and another number is ten so what is the gap here the gap is here two and what is the gap here this is four and what is the gap here which is two so what we can say here so we can say from the looking of this looking uh, looking of this six minus four which will be equal to two so we can form we can formulate a formula here a formula here for the row case for uh, leaving first uh, for leaving the first row and the last row so we can use this formula uh, for n minus one into two two minus two i okay we are using this formula i hope i am clear here so i have already coded it but i will use i will dry run it so no need to worry so in this case if there is only one row so assuming we have only one row so everyone will be print this is only one row example so just we have to print out the string value okay this is covered so what we will do we will use a string builder here string builder so so we should not get a time error so we are using for string builder and first what i have to do i have to see what is the length of the string so and we have another thing what we have to do we have to find k in this case it was 6 okay in this case it was 6 and I, then i have to iterate to the array and uh, and we have to do index index will be equal to i so in first zero so here while index is less than or equal less than than so it should be less than n so it should not go outside the n it should be less than n i hope i'm clear here if that's the case we have to append that index in first case we are appending p here and if so what what i told here if the we have to we have to we have to not consider zero and uh, first uh, first row and the last row so what i did if the first row is equal to zero if i is equal to zero if i is not equal to if i is equal to uh, the last digit so we have to not go to this if that's the not case we have to simply increase this by six what we are doing here we are simply increasing by six here we increase this six okay if that's the not case if it is in second row or third row what we have to do here first row second row or third row so i will say so what i did here whatever whatever the value is here six six minus two of i okay then i added that two of i into the index I added two of i into the index. So what we do? We have to append if the k value is less than n. If the k value it should not be more than n. So if the k value is less than n, then I have to append it to the string. And after that, after finishing it, we have to return it to the string. So first we'll do a dry run. I have already uh, made a code here. We will do a, a step by step dry run for this. Okay? We will do a debug. And we will use the uh, we will use this uh, this, uh, this one example as a uh, this one. So here we can say here. So we can say here uh, we have string has pay, uh, PayPal is hiring as a string. Number of uh, row should be four. So we will go down. We will create a string builder. We will go down. We have to see what is the length because we have to check if it should not go above the length. And we have to say uh, we have to create a k. In this case, what will be the k here? k will be your 6 i hope i'm clear here so now we have to iterate to the array and we have to say index i is equal to 0 now we will check if index is less than uh, the the length of the uh, length of the string if that is the case we will simply go and append that letter and it will check here if i if i is equal to 0 yes it is uh, it is false here if uh, i is equal to, equal to 0 it should be i should not be equal to 0 so it will not go to this and because it is an first arrow okay it is an first row so that's why we are skipping this and we are simply adding plus six till we get so what we do we added p now what we have to do in this case what we have to do we have to add it i and so i will just make it cleaner for this okay now what you have to do we have to add i so we are keeping and we are adding i here so in this case we are adding i so we have added i here i hope i'm clear here now we have to go again we have to add we have to add n here we have to go and add n here 
so we have added n so now it now i will be equal to now 1 now i will be equal to 1 so here i is equal to 1 now here it is it went above the length so it is exiting here and now we have to go for another thing now i will be equal to 1 it will see if it is less it is less it is it is true now we have to go and add so what we are adding we are adding a first so we are we will go and we will go add a so we have appended a p i uh, n a so we'll go down you will see we will say uh, we have 6 here and what is i here i is equal to i is equal to uh, 1 so 6 minus 2 will be equal to 4 now we have to go and add to the index so index plus 4 which is equal to 10 so is this 10 so 1 2 no uh, this is index right sorry index is here uh, 1 1 plus uh, 4 which is equal to 5 so 1 2 3 4 and 5 yes we are getting L so we will go and append that into the string we will go append that into the string like this only we have to go uh, we have to go for each case simply I am just forwarding it because the same example so simply we have to go uh, and we are going through second row now we have to simply go to second row we have till uh, i y i n g so we have created till uh, y we have created till y here now what we have to do we have to go down we have to append that okay simply we have to go and we will be finishing it We are getting an output has. Uh, we are getting output has, which is which this which is output. This is output. P i n a p i n a l s i n y a h r p i p i. I hope I'm clear with this. So if you didn't get any line of this course, like first we will run this. If this time error is showing or not, it's getting accepted. So let's submit and see. it gets submitted and it's getting bit 100% and 89% I hope I'm clear with uh, this uh, code if you didn't understand any line of this code please do comment I will help you and if you like this video please do like comment and share it will be great help and thank you for watching keep coding Chalo, bye